Most of the artificial reefs that are installed are designed for diving places. They're not really designed to replace the dying reef. And so we're trying to show people that you can build an artificial reef that's prolific, that's designed to encourage all the animals, and also be a good dive site, and at the same time, be a memorial location. These people are using their family's cremated remains to help us build an artificial reef. And that's why our motto is creating life after life. Right now we have a little bit more than an acre, and when it's finished it'll be 16 acres. It will be the largest artificial reef in the world, and it will be the only barrier reef, artificial barrier reef in the entire world. It'll house about 250,000 people. About a year and a half ago, I was feeling the need that I needed to lay my son to rest. His ashes were sitting on a shelf and that's not where he wanted to be. He wanted to be scattered in the ocean, in Miami Beach, in fact. But at the same time, me being Catholic, I wanted to keep his ashes together. So I had the dilemma, plus I had a hard time letting go. It was like JJ was telling me, Mom, that's what I want to do. He's going to be in so 5C. 5C. That will be the location right here. A lot of mixed emotions happy because I finally found what he would have wanted, sad because those were his remains. Intellectually, I know he's not there anymore, but those were his remains. The day after Thanksgiving in 2020, we lost our father to COVID. It was very unexpected. Our father was an avid aquarium enthusiast. Well, he always said, when I go, just throw my body in the ocean. Our original plan was the four of us, my brothers, we were going to get together and spread his ashes in the ocean. But my niece, Cassie, she had found Neptune Memorial Reef. And it was just perfect because now we know where he is and we can come back and visit. We all kneeled around the memorial and touched it. And I didn't expect to be emotional when I was down there, but it did, it did hit me uh, even after a year. You could feel diving through there and seeing all the other plaques that this was a special place and that you're essentially in a cemetery. Our goal really is to encourage more people to build reefs like we are worldwide. For the last 15 years, I've had people call me from all over the world asking how they can do it. I asked him, like, why do you want to build this? He said, we're running out of space. And I said, in Australia? And he said, well, yeah, you know, we have all the outback, but the cities, we don't have room. They have a lot of space, but not where you want the cemetery to be, because you want the cemetery to be close where you can go visit. It is just the perfect solution. I mean, I just wish more people knew about this because 
What a way to give back to Mother Earth, you know, in the oceans. It's a beautiful place. Why wouldn't you want to do that? If we can get other people worldwide to do what we're doing and we do enough of it, we may be able to slow down damage. If we can slow down damage long until we correct ourselves so that our own natural reefs start to recover, maybe that would be the answer, right? Because I don't know if our 16 acres is going to make an impact worldwide, but I'm hoping that our 16 acres might be an example to make an impact worldwide. Mm -hmm.